Right, part one of the repair, um, five mil carbon fibre rods, four inches long, sharp at both ends to a point. Um, they're already in the main body. Locating holes are already in the nose cone. Glue gun heating up. So first thing to do is glue them reinforced rods in the main body, let them go off. Then uh, next thing to do is coat it all up with uh, hot glue. Hot glue them rods and then fit the nose cone back in onto the main body. In fact, that would be better than new because on these ones, the nose cones are the weakest. You take a dive, um, you've got your plastic at the front holding the motor housing, etc, etc. Um, then behind that, you just got EPO and that takes the whack and it all splinters off. Um, I've already done some reinforcements underneath because I found out that a weak point in these, if I can lift it up, is the underside. You've got the vents underneath here for where the air flows through, cooling the motor down, then it escapes it outside the underside of the body. But having said that, the last hole there, very, very thin, weak point. I know it doesn't look all that tidy, but never mind, I'm, don't go for looks on more substance. And that where that last hole is there, that is a weak point. And if I'd have done a nose dive without these strengthening bars, it would have snapped at the back as well. Um, not a bad plane, but a couple of things that are wrong with it. Say so nose cones weak, backside's weak, and the undercarriage, any heavy landings, they uh, spring out of shape. But having said all that, you try doing <laughs> you try doing this with a Mavic Air or Pro or whatever. You can just wave goodbye to it for about a month while it goes off to Sweden. Um, if you have a crash and you break an arm or whatever. Um, you might be able to do it on a kitchen table, that's for sure. Okay, I shall keep you informed on the next vid.